So here we've got some missing fraction problems, but we solve these in the same way that we solve missing number problems with whole numbers. So first, 1 and 1 sixth minus something equals 2 thirds. So here, it's the subtrahend or the second number of the subtraction question that's missing. So we still use subtraction to find our missing number. We can work out 1 and 1 sixth minus 2 thirds and that will give us our missing fraction. But to subtract fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. So we need to find a fraction equivalent to 2 thirds which has a denominator of 6. So we can rewrite our question as 1 and 1 sixth minus 4 sixths. That's equivalent to 2 thirds because 3 times 2 is 6 and 2 times 2 is 4. But now we need to subtract 4 sixths and we only have 1 sixth in our mixed number. So we need to change our mixed number to an improper fraction. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So that's 7 sixths and now we can take 4 sixths away. The denominator stays the same and 7 minus 4 is 3. So our missing fraction here is 3 sixths. Now something minus 3 quarters is 5 eighths. So here it's the minuend or the first number of the subtraction that's missing. Remember subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems. So to find our missing number we can add 5 eighths and 3 quarters. To add fractions the denominators need to be the same. So we need to find a fraction equivalent to 3 quarters with a denominator of 8. So that's the same as 6 eighths because 4 times 2 is 8 and 3 times 2 is 6. So now our denominators are the same. So the denominator stays the same in our answer and 5 plus 6 is 11. Now we could write our missing number as an improper fraction so as 11 over 8 but we can turn that back into a mixed number. 11 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 3. So that's 1 and 3 eighths as a mixed number because 1 times 8 is 8 then we need 3 more to get to 11. Now something plus 5 sixths equals 1 and a half. So here we have a missing number addition and whenever we have a missing number addition we always use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 1 and a half minus 5 sixths. We need the denominators to be the same. So 1 and a half is the same as 1 and 3 sixths because we use multiplication to find equivalent fractions. 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3. But we need to take 5 sixths away. So let's turn 1 and 3 sixths into an improper fraction. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So that's 9 sixths. Now the denominator stays the same and 9 minus 5 is 4. So our missing number is 4 sixths. So let's look at what we did here. For this first question we knew that we started with 1 and 1 sixth and something had been subtracted to leave 2 thirds. But because 2 thirds is the same as 4 sixths we know that the 3 sixths that we have in blue must have been subtracted. Then we knew that 3 quarters had been subtracted from something to leave 5 eighths. Now 3 quarters is the same as 6 eighths so if we put that together with the 5 eighths we know that 11 eighths or 1 whole and 3 eighths must have been what we started with. Then we knew that 5 sixths had been added to something to make 1 and a half. Now 1 and a half is the same as 1 and 3 sixths. So the 4 sixths that are in blue must have been what we started with. 